All right, here we are, Pacific Crest Trail still. Passed through a nice little shady copse of white fir. Now, we got a nice big sugar pine right here. Oh yeah, when I was coming around the bend, I saw a huge light orange brown trunk. And it looks like, I don't know if this is a single sugar pine with two trunks, or if two sugar pines grew together as saplings. But this is a very nice sized sugar pine right here. Look at the bottom of that. I'm not sure if this is one tree with two trunks or two trees that now share the same root system because they fuse together. But regardless, it's a very impressive sugar pine. This is a very scenic very, very scenic trail. Looking up towards the ridge there, the growth looks pretty lush. Lots of sugar pine and white fir along this trail. Even more so than Jeffrey pine. I mean, there are Jeffrey pines here and there, but this is predominantly sugar pine and white fir. So, it's pretty neat. Very charismatic looking sugar pines too. Usually when you go when you go to other mountain ranges that are higher and wetter, they're typically more upright and narrow. Maybe like a taller version of that one. But here in Southern California, with the drier soils, they tend to be a little shorter in height, tend to be a bit shorter in height, but then assume these really interesting, intricately branched crowns so you'll see as you go along uh, the branches just flail every direction and I've seen plenty of tall narrow sugar pines the ones here in the San Gabriel's tend to be a little bit short like I said a little bit shorter in height but very 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 intricately branched and they just throw their branches each every direction almost almost at random almost like there's a an a dis not a disorder a I'd say a randomness to their branching this is probably the best way I can sum it up so yeah the sugar pines you'll see in the Sierras are usually much taller like 150 to 200 plus feet here I've seen them I've seen a few of them up to maybe about 140, 150, but ones here tend to be a little bit shorter, but they still get the girthy trunks, and in addition, they have a very, very interesting branching pattern, especially on more exposed slopes. But I figured I'd point that out because it's just very interesting. There's a nice sized white fur down there, too. Well, this is a pretty interesting hike so far. Beautiful up here. Beautiful trees.